Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So last week I released two videos on to the SQL project, real data exploration on to the Namma Yatri application. So friends, into this video, as promised, we did the analysis, we explored the data using SQL. Now into this particular video, we'll be creating a beautiful interactive dashboard using Power BI onto the same data set exactly how the dashboard is represented onto the Namayatri application. So if you visit the Namayatri application, you would see into the open data section, they have a dashboard ready 24 into 7 where they will give real time data on to the number of trips uh, which are completed, the number of driver earnings, the number of searches which is happening and various other metrics as you can see and into this video. I we will be gathering the same metrics onto the dashboard which we'll be doing using Power BI. So the end result of the dashboard will look something like this which you can see onto your screen. Now this particular dashboard is quite interactive in nature interactive as in i'll just help you give a summary of how this dashboard looks like and what are the different metrics here get a quick glance of this particular dashboard so you can see we have the completed trips the number of searches which have taken place the number of estimates the number of codes the driver earnings and various different charts you can see onto your screen to the dashboard like trips versus duration the fare versus duration the distance versus duration also you can see one chart which shows the conversion rate all of these data points are coming through a backend tables which i'm having i'll be giving you a summary onto all of these tables so one more thing you can see i have a slicer ready here where all of these are different assembly names which are present in Bengaluru. So if I just select any of the assembly names, you can see the data is getting changed and into the map view also, we are getting the data for the same assembly name. So you can just see how interactive this particular dashboard is. Don't worry, I'll help you guys to make this from very scratch. And also you can see the table which is present here. Even here, if you click, the data gets filtered out for a particular assembly. So I have added different tools here which will help the business to take data driven decisions because you can see onto the website also they are presenting a such kind of similar view. Now my next video will be on how to add these projects onto your portfolio. So we will be creating free portfolio website using AI. So don't miss the next video into this particular series. But for this video, let us quickly go on to our Power BI and let us create this dashboard from the very scratch. One of the things which I like about Power BI is it is quite user interactive and the user interface is quite simple to understand. This is a very first interface which you can see onto your screen which you'll be seeing by downloading Power BI desktop. Now from where you can download Power BI desktop onto your system just go to Microsoft Store and here onto the search menu you just need to type power bi desktop so i'll just type here power bi and you need to download this particular application which is present here so it has been downloaded onto my system so that is why it is saying to open it but for people who do not have this particular application for them the process is very much easy to install it is as easy as installing any application from google play store so after installing the application you'll get this interface here i'll do one thing and close this so the very first interface which you get here is something like import data from excel import data from sql server data into a blank table or try a sample data set now what are these four options which are present here so let's say you have the data which is present into your excel sheet so you can just import your excel sheet here and the data get ingested into the power bi desktop or let's say you have the data into your sql server you can connect your sql server to your power bi desktop also or you want to create data on your own a very fresh way so you can paste the data into a blank table which will be provided by power bi desktop or you can try a sample data set which is being provided by power bi desktop so friends for this particular video as you know if you have watched my sql project onto the namayatri application 
I have an Excel sheet ready here. So let me give a quick overview of the Excel sheet. So the data which is present here is quite simple. I'll just give a quick overview. So the sheet in the trip details contains the details of the trip. So you can see to the column A, I have the trip ID to the column B, I have the location from. So from which location this trip originated? So column C, I have the searches. So if you remember, I'll just take the overview of the Namaya 3 application onto my screen right now. But if you just remember, whenever we search onto the application, we need to enter from which location we want to go till which location we want to go. And then we enter both of these locations into our application. After we have entered both of these, you know, locations, we need to get the estimate of the fare, like what, how much money will the application charge from going from a particular location to a different location so we have the information here into the column t into the column e we get the drivers so after we are okay with the the amount which has been quoted by the application we then search for drivers so search for quotes means searching for drivers quotes here means a driver so out of all these searches which have been done the number of searches which got the driver actually and after that that we have customer not cancelled and driver not cancelled which means that if it is one which means one is true here onto the sheet and zero is false so if it is one that means that customer has not cancelled the order similarly driver not cancelled if it is one the driver has not cancelled the order otp entered is one means otp has been entered and android one is the ride has successfully ended so this is a complete customer journey which has been taken by a particular customer onto the application so all this information is present onto the trip underscore details uh, table let us go to the next sheet here which is the trips so into the column a i have the trip id into the column b i have the fare method so we can pay the fare of a particular trip which we have taken using upi google pay you or and uh, you know cash also so i have a third sheet where i have the information of the id and into the second column i have the payment method which is being mapped here into the column b the third column gives information on the fare the uh, column g is the from which location the trip occurred to which location into the column f i have which driver was assigned this particular trip similarly into the column g i have which customer took this particular trip the column h we have the distance traveled for this trip and into the column i i have the duration which it which it took for this particular trip and into the you know next sheet i have the id and i have the assembly name so if you will quickly look into the namaya 3 dashboard which is present here they have you know different assemblies which are present here so i've just got all these assemblies which are present into the website and i have put all these assemblies here and i just provided a random id to all of these assemblies and these assemblies are marked as the location from which the trip is originating or the trip is ending and the last sheet which i'm having is of the duration so the 24 hours in a particular day i have divided into the duration of one one hour so this was all about the duration the excel sheet present and we will be importing the data from the excel sheet you can see different type of graphs different type of charts which we can have here so I've, i would quickly go on to my dashboard you can see i have used tables here i have used different charts i have used simple you know numerical charts here and uh, this is uh, some different kind of chart this is a map view so all of these different charts are present here for the user convenience so that they can pick any one they like so one thing to mem to remember before importing data from the excel file is please close the file otherwise it will sh throw you an error so i'll just quickly select the file so you can see it is connecting just saying it is connecting if you remember I was having five different sheets into my Excel sheet and all five of them, the names are being displayed here. So either I can import, you know, one of them or I can import multiple uh, files from this particular Excel file, multiple sheets from this particular Excel file. I will be importing all the files here.
I will be clicking on to the load. What is this transform data? So the data which is present here, let's say you want to modify it. You want to join two tables which are present here. You can click on this transform data and a lot of more other things that comes under the power query section. We'll be seeing this function later on while creating the dashboard. But right now I'll click on to this load button. So after I've clicked on to this particular button, it will take some time to load the data here. You can see the data is getting loaded. See all of these different files are now being shown here. I'll just click on all of them. You can see one thing. There is a sigma sign which is present here. Uh, you know on the left side of certain columns. Now what are these? These means that all of these you know columns on which the sigma sign is present means that those columns are calculative in nature you can calculate something like you can do a sum you can do a count a min max average anything and onto the columns which you cannot see a sigma uh, i mean that are a kind of a dimensional columns present do one thing let us start our journey to create the dashboard also one more thing here you can see i'm getting a report view so report view is nothing but view which i'm getting right now if i click onto this table view i the data tables which i have inserted into my power bi i'll be able to see all of these data which are present into all of these tables so you can see we have here the data has been ingested successfully and into the model view this is a kind of a you know advanced level view where they give the relationships between all of these different tables which are present here let us start with creating the dashboard so first of all let us give a background color first of all we need to click on this uh, the border inside the bordered area and uh, the dotted border area and we need to go onto this format your report page and this and then onto the canvas background you can see right now it is colored into the white and that is why we are showing a white thing but let's say I want to get exactly the same color which I'm having right now. This is the color which is present here. So let us check that. I'll go into the format your report page. I'll go to the canvas background. And I'll have to click here. I'll click on more colors. And you can see it showed me the color code of this particular color. I'll do one thing. I'll copy this. I'll go to my new dashboard which I'm creating. I'll paste this here. I'll click OK. And that's it. I have got exactly the same color which I wanted to get. Now friends, what is the next step here which will be taking? The next step which I'll be taking here is let us start with all of these small blocks which I have created of completed trips, searches, estimates, posts and driver earnings. Now why I am referring to this dashboard which you know the end result which, I'm, which I had made here because you will be able to understand how to proceed while making any dashboard what are the steps which you should take and then you should gradually go on to build the complete dashboard from there so it will help you in that particular way so the next next thing which i'll be doing here is i want to know the total number of completed trips so to get the total number of completed trips i'll be using the trip underscore details table here i'll click on this you can see i've got a random a different chart than what i was wanting to get so i would want to change the chart here so what is the chart which i'll be using so i'll be using a card chart now you can see i've got the card chart here I'll be, you know, minimizing the size. I'll go to the format your visual. So you can see this category label is enabled, which means that sum of end right. Uh, so is the user willing to show? Let's say I don't want to show this. Instead, I'll be creating a new title for me for this particular card, and the title will sound something like completed trips because we are creating a copy of the dashboard so let us try to you know duplicate this and also add new things if possible 
from our end but at least try to do whatever is present on the dashboard from before because once you're doing a realistic kind of project which have been done by major industries gives a very good impression onto the recruiter's eyes that you know how to implement things which have been implemented into the real you know projects or the real industry so friends i have given the complete trips i'll do it into bold what more i can do is i can go to this effects and i want to change the background color so you can see the background color here is something different let us see the code of the background color which is present here i will go to the more colors i will copy the background color open this more colors put the background color same as it was present here and also you can see the borders so these are some of the formattings which from a user perspective you can do uh, these are not mandatory but but it helps you to make your dashboard looks attractive in nature so one more thing which we can do is into the effects i can just go for the visual border i'll just click and let us make this rounded corners up to 80 that's it so you can see the corners have been rounded we have created our very first number or or you can say the card which we wanted to create what are the next cards which we'll be creating so the next card is of searches estimates posts uh, quotes and driver earnings so i'll just go here so i'll do one thing i would not make everything from this scratch so the time i've spent here in creating one card i'll be using the same thing for each of the other card so i'll do a control c control v Control V again and Control V again. That's it. So here you can see I have the sum of n right. Instead, I wanted to have this total number of searches. So let me get here total number of searches, and also I need to change title here. So I'll just type here searches. Here also it is total number of estimates so let's go here i'll put here total number of estimates i'll again go to this tab click on this title i'll write here estimate so you can just see while i'm typing it is being typed here also pretty cool thing isn't it and onto the next flash card what is the information i have the information of the total number of quotes i'll go here so i would write to mention here total number of quotes change the name of the title similarly so this is of the quotes interestingly i have one more flashcard present here which is of the driver earning so i'll copy paste it again present it here let's do one thing let's change the name first so this will be of the driver earnings and here i would just go with the fair select the fair and you can see i've got the driver earnings no friends you can see i have, I have a card here which is of the conversion rate and the chart which i've used here is called as the god chart 